Okay, cool. So today what we're going to do is we're going to set up our business manager, Shannon. So now we're going to just go from top to bottom on the left-hand side. So let's start with, um, let's start with pages. Go ahead and click on pages. And, and to make this super simple, because all this stuff could be overwhelming. Like there's so much shit to click on. It could be super overwhelming. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a folder. So just like you have those bookmarks right there in the top right, we're going to set mm -hmm. up a folder and we're, and there's only seven things that we'll ever click on in this, in this entire platform when it comes to running successful ads and tracking the ads and all that stuff. There's only seven. So we're going to bookmark all seven. So yeah. if we can go to the bookmark, your bookmark folder, actually, you know what you have just, yeah, just go up to the, to the top. Cause you have that top that to the very, very left, you have that bookmark, which is Lil Luna creative. So go in to, oh. the right of that, to the right of that, move over to the right, put that. Yeah. Right. Click, right. Click. And we're going to, we're going to add folder. So we're going to add folder and this is going to be called, um, you could just name it FB business manager or Facebook business manager, whatever FB business manager. Perfect. So this is the folder. We're going to dump seven bookmarks in this folder. Okay. And um, in fact, this is the first one. So hit the star in the top, right. Let's bookmark this one. And this Hold is on. star top, right. Yeah. Star. Right, right, this right. one. Yes. That's how you bookmark. So if you oh. click that, you'll just name it business settings. We want to take it out of the folder, out of that bookmarks bar. Wait, wait, wait. The folder, the drop down, the folder right there. It says bookmarks um, bar. So yes. Right, yeah. Click that and go to our new folder, FB Business Manager. Perfect. So this is bookmark number one. This is your business settings. And go so, done. Done. Yes. Perfect. That's one of seven. Perfect. So now to the left, down, as we go down, we're going to go to ad accounts. So ad accounts is what the credit card's tied to. This is what Facebook will start charging. The credit card, they'll start charging for, for the ads. So you may have a credit card um, already set up on the previous account, which is the second one down as we click that drop down. But this is a whole new one. So we're going to add a, we're going to add, you can add the same card here. Or you can add a different card, whatever, but go ahead and hit the blue okay. button and we're going to add a, a, a payment to this one. So create, create a new ad account. And here's what we're going to do too. We're going to name, we're going to name everything the same. So whatever we're going to change the top left name to Shannon.Realtor, whatever we're changing that to, go ahead and name it here because we're going to name the business manager. We're going to change that name in the top left. We're going to name the ad account, the same name. We're going to name the pixel the same name. So whatever one name we're going with, and it could be anything. Okay. It could be the one but, name. But we stick with the same name that we've done on the Instagram, you can, you can. TikTok. You can. You can for sure. You can use that same name. Um, okay. Yeah. Why don't you use the same name? So what did we use? Just your first Just name. Shannon so, Alvis Realtor. Perfect. Perfect. So there, there's that. Um, and then Pacific Time is fine. So go ahead and, and hit next. Okay, cool. So we're good here. And then my business, go ahead and click on that top one is for my business and then create. And then as we go over here, it's just going to ask us for a card. You can do this now. You can do it later. Um, oh, I'll do it now because I'm here. Yeah, perfect. So <laughs> go ahead and click your name there in the top left, Shannon. So all we're doing is we're tying the ad account to you, to the personal profile, which is Shannon Alvis. So click on that. And then to the very, very right, bottom right, we want full control. Just shade that gray to blue. That's it. Assign. Okay, cool. We're good. So now over here, add payment info. Okay, this is another bookmark. So so go to hit the star in the top right, and and we're gonna name this one add account. Add account. Yeah, take rename it. Yeah, perfect. Add account, and then it's in that folder. So here's the deal. Moving forward, like I like I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I I, I damn near know everything about this damn platform, the ad site. Like I've been doing this shit yeah. for a long time. But but <laughs> every do. now and then, like every now and then I'll get stumped on something. Like that's why in the in the beginning when I saw that little red red notification, I'm like, what the hell is that? Like yeah. the account restricted. Every now and then I'll I'll come across something where I never seen it. And I'm like, shit, you're gonna have to reach out to Facebook. In the case <laughs> that that happens, then and, and you reach out to Facebook, the first thing that they want to know is what is the ad account ID number? And that's the account number right there, 364 oh. Okay, so okay. That's, that's like the number one question. What's your ad account number? number and, and that's the damn number right there. So, okay. so this part's super important, ad account. Um, and then we'll come back in a few minutes. And actually, yeah, we'll go to another page in a few minutes and, and we'll add, see if we can add the payment payment info. Okay. There. So we're Perfect. good. We're good here. So now Instagram account to the left. Let's make sure that that the, that the other Instagram account is, is connected. Not the, not, I, I know we had two different Instagram accounts. So let's see if we can tie the, the new, the, the current in, Instagram account. So click on that oh, Instagram accounts. Yeah. Let's just make sure that this one is, so this is, yeah, see, so this is the, the older one. So let's remove this top, right. We'll just remove, and then we'll just add 
and we'll log in with the other one. Um, can't be removed because it's currently linked to a page. Okay, so please unlink unlink the page before trying again. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. But go ahead and add. Go ahead and click on add the blue button, and let's just add the other one for now. So let's just um, so scroll down, and then you can you'll see a yeah connect. And what you'll do here is you'll log in with the other one, which was the Shannon Alves Realtor one. Right. Okay. Okay. So now bottom left, we'll just keep going down. Um, now we got the domain, right? We got the, we did get the domain, right? Yeah. We made yeah. sure we had it, but we didn't we sign didn't purchase it. it yet. R right. We didn't pay for it yet to get okay. it. Okay. Do you want to do that now or should we do that? Yes. Later? Okay. No. So, and the only reason why I ask is because now the newest, one of the newest updates with Facebook ads is that, uh, you, is that the ad, whatever ads we're running to needs to be needs to be ran to the dom to our domain. So that domain okay. needs to be integrated with Facebook before you can run an ad to any any website. But now okay. now we you have to actually own that domain and Facebook needs to verify that. So perfect. So there's some a piece of code that we have to take from Facebook, take it to GoDaddy and connect it there. So yeah, there's a there's a few hoops that we got to jump through, but it's super, okay. super easy. So just open up another tab and then let's just go to GoDaddy and let's actually purchase that domain. And then manually add pixel code to website. And then and then what you'll do is just hover over all that. That's the pixel code. So all of those characters there is what you would put in the settings of a website. And that's what tracks. And, and don't let it's it's more simpler than you than, than this looks. So go ahead and click on it. Click. And then you right, right click or left click. Left click. You can left click and then it just copies. Okay, cool. Oh, and okay. scroll down. And then now we're gonna we're gonna, number two we're gonna turn off and then turn it back on. So turn off, and then turn it back on, and then scroll down. Make sure everything is blue. Okay, cool. And then continue. Continue here. Yes, continue. Okay, and then um and then and then cancel. We're good. Okay, perfect. So now here's what I want you to do just for the hell of it. Um, email that code to yourself because in the future, like if you ever want to build some website, which you're not gonna need to at all, um, and then I'm gonna help you with landing pages. So it's gonna be super simple, but in the future, if you ever want some fancy website or whatever, you'll is have this the a code. Facebook code. What code Facebook, is this? Name this one Facebook Pixel. So in the future, if anyone builds a website for you or anything like that, you can always email them this pixel code and say, hey, here's my pixel. Add it to my website. You know, even even if even if you change brokerages and you go to some some big box brokerage and they give you a cookie cutter replicated website like a Keller Williams or a Coldwell, mm -hmm. like these they they give all their agents you know these these fancy websites. You can send it to them. Say, hey, here's my pixel. Can you put it on my website? Okay. Right. So so that's your pixel. Okay. Cool. So we're good. So now back to business settings, and then that red dot will actually turn green once we actually put it on a website. So okay. so right here to the right we're going to add people and you should see your name so once you click on add people you're going to just hit the circle there and then go full control so very very right you're going to go full control yeah that one and then assign okay cool and then and then go ahead and click on so all we're doing is we're connecting shannon to the pixel her personal profile to the pixel click on done and then click on add assets i think we also have to add the ad account let's see if we yeah so go ahead and check that circle and then add. So all we're doing here is tying the ad account to the pixel as well. So all we're doing is connecting the dots. That's all we're doing. And this is all a one-time thing. So don't, don't right. do this shit all the time. It's like it's a one-time thing. But but again, this is what makes ads work and make or and and yeah. versa. And so this is super, super important. So now now um let's go, let's go back. Let's go, let's go. So we're done with the, we're good with the pixel. So to the very left, let's go back down or let's go down and let's go back to brand safety and we're going to go to domains. So domains and over here, we're going to simply add our domain. So type in the, the domain that you just got. Oh, dot com. Dot com. Yes. Perfect. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, is that a dot? No, that's not a dot. Making sure I was spelling it right. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> cool. So now, now it might be it might be too early, but we we should be able to, as far as you just purchase the domain, but we right. should, we should be able to at least somewhat get through this. So let's. Okay. So here's what we want to do is the drop down right there at the top. Add a meta tag. Yeah, click on that, and we're coming down to the third one. So we're coming down to DNS text. So this is gonna again. This is the code that Facebook wants to give to GoDaddy so 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 we can prove that this is our domain. 
So number two, just go ahead and hover over that Facebook dash domain, the bold link that you see there in number two, and just click on it. So just click, yeah, click, and then you copy it. Uh -huh. Perfect. And now we're going to go over to GoDaddy. So let's just go to that tab that's open at the top, the contact. Yeah, that one. And then over here, we're going to simply click on view my domains. So we'll go, to, we'll go to your actual domains. And here, all we're doing is going into the actual settings of the domain. Look at that. You purchased it for 20 bucks and it's valued at 676. Huh? Go ahead and click on, um, click, on, click on it to the left, Shannon Albus. Yeah, click on that one. So over here, it'll take us to the settings. Right there, you see manage DNS. So right there to the right, to your other right. Yeah, that one, manage DNS. <laughs> You're going to say that to somebody else now and they're going to go, what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, this chick from Oregon uh, had me saying it. Right? So X out of this, this little window there. X that one, then we'll scroll down. And so now all we want to do is want to add. So these are all different random settings. Don't even get confused with that stuff. Okay. So click on add the black button right in the top right, add. And the type, we're going to hit the drop down and we're going to go down to TXT. And then the, the name, go ahead and put the at sign and then all you're going to do here in the value yeah the at sign and then the value you're going to paste in that link so right click and just paste and then add record okay cool perfect so we're good on the godaddy side okay cool so we can x out of here we don't need godaddy anymore so you can close out this tab and then we'll just go back to actually you close the business settings close out this one here oh, shit it's all good it's all good but now we have, now we, so just open up another tab. Now we have our folder. So now we can go back to our folder and just go to that tab right away. So go to business settings. Perfect. Oh, look at there. Yeah. See, so that makes, <laughs> so again, we're going to have seven bookmarks. That's going to make all this shit easy to, na to navigate. It's easy to navigate. That's why, that's why we do the bookmarks because all this other stuff is, it's, it's complicated. So scroll down bottom left. Let's go back down to brand safety and let's yeah. see, and let's click on domains. Brand safety, little, yeah, and then domains. And let's see if we can verify it. Um, click on the drop down, not yet, not yet. Click on the drop down right there, add a meta tag and go back down to the, T, the, the DNS TXT. It might be too early, but go ahead and click on the, the green one. Too early only because we just bought the domain. There it is there, perfect. Okay. So, so we verified it, cool. Okay, so now add assets, click on add assets. And now we're gonna tie the domain to the, um, to the page. So click on your classic pages there to the left up actually up a little up classic oh classic pages sorry and then go ahead and, and hit that circle to the right add so all we're doing is just tying the domain to the business page um because that's the business page is where we're going to be running ads from right perfect so we're good there verified domain awesome that's like one of the newest updates with facebook that perfect. domain is, is is what we have to run ads to okay cool so now going back down to the left we're gonna we're gonna keep going and we're gonna go down to business info and all we want to do over here is simply from top to bottom, we're going to, we're going to start with the top. We're going to go edit, right? We see Shannon.realtor and we're going to rename that. We can rename that the, the same one we're going with for everything else. And then the primary page, go ahead and click in there um, and then you'll see your drop down. So click and then type in your name and you should see your business page right there. Perfect. So click that. So we're tying the business page to the business account. So go ahead and click on save. And then as you save it, go ahead and um, the name of your choose your business isn't, isn't valid. Consider using Shannon. Okay, so it's just the business names must accurately reflect your business. Oh, I didn't, I didn't uh go ahead and go ahead and um go ahead and space it. Shannon dash capital A dash capital. It R. just had me using a capital and because I had it all lowercase. Yeah. Um but as far as as far as the business name, go ahead and just space everything. Yeah, hit your drop down there, hit that, and then and then Shannon, and then just space it out. Capital A, capital R. Yeah, just just actually space it out in the business name. Okay, cool. Okay. See if we can save that. Perfect. Awesome. Now refresh the page, and that S red profile or pink red profile should should update. There it is there. Perfect. Cool. Now we are good. So now all we got to do here is fill out the business details, which is just the name, the address, business phone, website, no tax ID, no verified. We don't need any of that. Just the, just the name. So hit edit to the right. Um, you don't need, yeah, you don't need tax ID. And then um, 
And, and all just, this is internal. This is no one sees this part, but you and Faith. This is just my name because I the realty doesn't have a business yet. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't have to be an, an LLC. It could be Shannon Alvis Realtor. So you just space it out. Capital A. Yeah, perfect. And then the address. This does not show publicly. So um, go ahead and put your address there. Okay, cool. So now we have our, our, our name at the top, our business page, we have the details, we have the, the email at the very, very bottom um, confirmed, we are good. So we are in good compliant with, with Facebook. So, so now let's, let's move on. We have a few more bookmarks. So now we're done with the business settings. That was all the business settings, right? Over okay. here. So, so we're good here. None of this other settings you ever need to worry about. Um, so now we'll click on the three lines at the top left and we'll go to the next bookmark, which will be, let's see if we can get to ad manager. Let's see if it, if it'll actually open up for us. Awesome. So it looks good. So now here, click no. So if you see now the drop down right there at the top, hit that drop down, Shannon Alvis Realtor, and then click on see more. Actually, this is this. Yeah. So this is normally, normally you'll see your second one down there, but, but it's not there for whatever reason, but that's fine. So, so we're good. Okay. So this is where the ads will be ran from. So from this account, from this business manager. So go ahead and bookmark this one, hit the star in the top right. And this one's going to be ads manager. Yeah. Ads manager. And it's in that folder, click done and, and you're good. And see your profile picture <clears throat> is very, very left. Click on that profile picture. You, you should see your other account. Yeah, see, so there's oh, your yeah. account right there. Okay. We're not running ads out of there no more. So that account, it can stay there. It's it's good. We don't need to sure. close it, but but that's not where we're going to run ads from. It's all okay. this top account now. Okay, perfect. So we bookmark this. So now click on the three lines um, at the top left and let's go to, let's go to billing. We'll go to billing. Um, and then over here, I'll sh and then, yeah, we'll go to billing. And then over here, we're going to click on payment settings right there in the top right. And let's see if we can add the card here. Um, go ahead and bookmark this page. So this will show you where you're running balances at throughout the month. This is called billing. Name this one billing. So you, so the zero at the top, the balance, you'll you'll know where your 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 tally is at throughout the month, um, and you'll know what card is on file. So go ahead and hit that payment and payment. Yeah, let's see if we can add it here now. Great custom audience. And we'll just base this one off of, off of your Facebook business page for now, but, but in the future, these are all the different data points. So you can literally create an audience of everyone who landed on your Instagram account, put them all in a bucket and run an ad to them or wow. anyone who actually visited a website, right? Those who visited an actual website and run an ad to them. Um, or those who watched a video, let's say you put out a video, it's 30 seconds. I can track those who watched the first 15 seconds and put them in an audience and then show them another ad. So that's, that's cool. That's what this, yeah. So super cool. So in the future, really all you'll ever do is create, is create, if you're doing video, then, then we'll do video, video audiences, but typically uh -huh. it's just website. So it's really just it's, it's video and website on, 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 on where we'll be creating audiences. It's really nice. Okay. Um, so go for, but for the hell of it now, since we don't have a website, since we don't have a video, let's just do mm -hmm. Facebook page for now, just so okay. we can mark this section. So from, yeah, right there where you see events, hit that drop down. And these are the different data points. So you can literally put those who currently like or follow your page, put them in a bucket and show an ad to them, right? Or everyone who engaged with your page, meaning anyone that scrolled or clicked on any post. Oops. But we're gonna, oh, I see. we're gonna go with the fourth one down. People who engaged with any post or ad. Let's put them all okay. in a bucket and, and, and we can always show them an ad. So 365, the retention, bring that down. Bring that down to maybe to maybe, to maybe 30 days. Like if you clicked on an ad in the past 30 days, you're in this audience. And, and I, I kind of go down to 30 versus anything higher because most, most of us, like we're all clicking on random shit all damn day. Like if you're online, mm -hmm. you're probably clicking on different things. Like if you clicked on a website 47 days ago and you only clicked on it that one time, and then I'm yeah. showing you another ad, you may not even remember me. Right. So even 30 days, like a lot of times I don't even remember what the hell I clicked on yesterday. Exactly. Right. So it's like 30 is kind of the max in this case. So let's just go 30 and then audience name, go to name it the same as the event people who engage with any post or ad. That's, that's the actual audience name. So people, that's what who, I put. Yeah. People who engaged with any post or ad, and then we'll just create audience and then we'll bookmark this page. So this is where we'll just start building a bunch of audiences, which, which I like to call buckets, just 
all these different buckets of people doing different things within my, on my ads. And I can always show them another ad. So yeah, let's name this one. This one's custom audiences, custom audiences. Perfect. And then we'll hit done. And then, um, and I think we have, I think we have a couple more bookmarks and then we're good. So custom audiences and, and then, and then we're good here. So click on done the purple one. And then this is just where we'll have a list of all these different audiences. And these are all data points that we'll use for, for future okay. targeting. Okay. So now click on the three lines to the left and we're going to go to, now let's go to events manager. So we'll see events manager down below events manager. And then I'm going to have you bookmark it from over here for the pixel. This is where once we activate the pixel, then this is where this is, we're going to bookmark this for now. So hit the blue, hit the, hit the, tri, hit the star in the top, top, right. Um, let's, this is called pixel. We're going to, we're going to rebookmark it once we activate the pixel, because this page will be different once we activate the pixel, but let's just, let's just bookmark it for now. So this is where we'll actually get our pixel. Um, you emailed it to yourself. So that's your actual mm -hmm. picture there, but to grab it from here, this is where we'll start to see it from, from this actual page. So okay. now hit the triangle to the left, that blue triangle, and let's go down a custom, actually the blue one um, right over there, go down to custom conversions. Okay, so this is another, yeah, go to bookmark this, but we'll rebookmark this once we actually activate the custom conversion. So this is custom conversions. And so a custom conversion is when we get our actual website. So once we get our actual landing pages, not a website, our actual web page. So once okay. we get our web pages, which, which is all on our, on our next few calls, I'll introduce you to different pages. But that's when we'll actually create a custom conversion. And this is what it's all about, custom conversions. And, I'll, and, and I always like to kind of explain what a custom conversion is. And, and, and I'll show you, but let's look at, let's look at our folder real quick. I think we have all of them. I think we, we should have seven. So business settings, ad account, ads manager, building custom audiences, pixel, custom conversions. That is it. Okay. So that's the only, those are the only things we'll ever click on. So moving forward, what we're going to do, hit the folder again, real quick, moving forward, we're going to fill in the blanks, moving forward. We're going to fill out. We're going to fill in the custom audiences. Once we have web pages. We're gonna we're gonna install the pixel once we have the pages. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna install a custom conversion once we have the pages, and then we run ads through the ads manager. That's it. Like there's nothing else to click on in this thing, um, the, the, and this refers to Instagram ads and and Facebook ads. But but go to Facebook really quick. Go to Facebook and and then and then and then we'll be we'll be done. Let me show you what a custom conversion is really quick. So if you just you can just um, yeah I think you can go to your business page from there. We just want to go back to faith actually um or you could just type in facebook at the top facebook.com and it'll just take you back to your personal page all i want you to do is go through the news feed really quick let's just go through the news feed until we see an actual yeah right here so right below bailey let's just scroll down and let's see if we can find a sponsored ad perfect right, right here. there okay perfect so here's the deal and now and it always starts with the question it always starts look look at that see shannon you could be doing video this is this is an ad and I guarantee you, this guy is crushing it. Now he could be, he could not, but he, but he's running it the right way. Like, how I know. And I'm, like, and I'm, cool I'm like, I almost want to be able to run some for my freaking horse training too. Yes, man. Because yes. I'm like, yes. yes, I'll help you with all that too. But, but, but what, what I'm trying to have you understand is the simplicity. Like, look how he's on his cell phone, just talking some shit. Like yeah. that's it. Like there's nothing to it. Like, and I saw it. this one earlier. He's, he's working on getting the horse across the railroad tracks. Well, this yeah. is shit I do all the time. And so I saw this and see? I'm like, I want help doing that for my horse training too. See, hover over the video. Don't click on it, but scroll down. Yeah. Hover. So it's four minutes and 45, four, four minutes and 46 seconds. The reason why you're seeing it again is because he tracked you. Now he knows that you may have not watched the whole damn thing. Cause most are uh -huh. not going to watch all four minutes, but hover over it again. He knows that you watched a minute of it. Yeah. So what we do is we take those who watched one minute, put them in an audience and show them the damn, the damn ad again. I, I yeah. And so, I, yeah, so, I, I want to do this for my training too. Yeah. See, and, and that's, <laughs> that's what, that's what custom audiences are, but here's, here's custom conversions. So custom audiences are one thing. Custom conversions are the other. Here's, here's the question I have for you. And this is, this is the, this is the custom conversion. Mm -hmm. But with this being the ad, right? There's the text, there's the word sponsored, there's the video. And then if you scroll down, there's the learn more button, uh -huh. right? There's a little call to action to the bottom left. Martin decides to cross the tracks, little, little, mm -hmm. um, what Facebook calls a, a title, a video title, which is at the bottom left. So here's my question. 
with this being an ad, what do you think his objective is? His objective on this is to show people how you work a horse correctly. And, and, on and you something. get one answer and you get one, you get one answer. Okay. Keep going. So that's what you, okay. Yeah. Keep going. You get one answer. So keep going. So, <laughs> what you, what's the objective? To get the horse to cross the railroad tracks, to show people how to do it without fighting with your horse. Okay. So that, that's a pretty freaking, um, that's a pretty, pretty detailed answer. Um, so if that's, if that's, if, if that's what, if that's your answer, okay, cool. You get one answer. So you're saying his objective is to visually show us something. Uh huh. Okay. So if that's the objective, then what he's doing is he's going to just show it to tens of thousands or Facebook, I should say, Facebook is going to show it to thousands of people because that was his objective. His objective was to get people to see the horse cross the, cross the track. Okay, cool. And yeah, uh, it, it's, it's showing a horse that doesn't want to do something, how you get him to do it and keep him confident. Okay. So, from the horse trainer part of me, that's exactly what he's doing. So okay. he's showing the public, see, you can mm -hmm. teach him with keeping him confident. Okay, so on the back end, when you're actually setting up the ad, if that is the objective, what he would have done is he would have went video views because he just wants thousands of people to view it. So if that's the objective and we go into Facebook and we say, hey, that's our objective. We want thousands of people to see the damn horse. Okay, cool. Facebook's going to give you what you want. And you're going to end up with 20,000 views and no leads because mm -hmm. your objective was to simply visually show them the video. So you're going to come back and you're going to spend 400 bucks and you're like, damn, dude, I didn't get any leads from this shit. I just got 15,000 people to view it, but none of them was uh -huh. a lead. And Facebook's like, dude, that's what you asked for. You just wanted thousands of people to see it. Uh huh. Right. So that's why a lot of times people run an ad and they're like, and, and then so the second answer that I'll get all the time, people will say, well, David, the objective is to get them to click. Okay, cool. Well, then if that's the objective, go ahead and click the learn more button. What Facebook's going to give you is they're going to give you exactly what you're asking for. So if your objective, because a lot of people will say, David, the objective is to get them to see the ad and click it. Okay, cool. There goes your objective. Facebook's going to give you 10,000 people that clicked, but no lead came in. They just clicked. They clicked. There's your objective. They served you literally what you asked for. There is your objective. You, you just wanted them to click. Yeah. So he must have videos that you can buy and then get on his online training stuff. No, I don't. Well, I don't, I don't know about any of that, but, but as far right. as the objective, if I'm going to spend yeah. money on this ad, I uh -huh. need, to, I need to tell, I need to be very specific with Facebook on what my objective is. So, All so right. I don't confuse you anymore. Here's the real objective when it comes to, especially, especially when it comes to horses and even, and even when it comes to your real estate, for sure. Let's, let's, let's talk about the real estate real quick. The objective is to capture a lead. Okay. Like yeah. I can care less if 25,000 people view my video. If I don't capture a lead from it, I just blew my budget. Yeah. I want, I, I want, lead, I want a right? client out of it. We need a damn lead, right? We need a lead. Yes. So with that being said, there, that's a different objective. So when we go oh. on a Facebook and we set up the ad, we're not telling Facebook, we need thousands of views. We're not telling Facebook, we need thousands of clicks. We're telling Facebook, we need leads. Oh, so okay. how does that happen? A person sees the ad, they click, they come over here, hit the red button. They click on subscribe now. Yeah. Click on the red button. So as the form, there should be a form. Okay. So, so now he's taking you through, yep. through this whole choose, choose plan. So, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. His whole objective is, 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 is what Facebook and, and we're on, we're on custom conversion right now. Mm-hmm. His whole objective is to get you. It wasn't to get thousands of views. It wasn't to show people the horse. It wasn't that it was because that's views. It wasn't to get people just to click, learn more, because if that were to happen, they just come to the website and that's yeah. it. The yeah. objective is conversions. That's a lead or a purchase. So what this guy is doing, let's say his object, let's, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to say, he actually knows what he's doing. His objective is conversion. His objective is to get Shannon to choose a plan. So go ahead and go through it. Choose a plan. Don't, yeah, don't purchase to, it, but, but let's see yeah. let's go as far as we can without putting in our information. Okay, yeah. so here, here, here's the conversion. As people come over here and they create an account 
and then they get to the to the to the next page where they actually put in their credit card for the uh -huh. for the for the for the, for the subscription they click on purchase, they put their credit card in, they click on purchase, they then land on a confirmation page, they then land on a thank you for purchasing. Let me share. And this is this is this is a purchase conversion. Let me show you let me stop share. Let me show you my screen real quick. Okay. When it comes to your business, the real estate side, it's actually even easier because we're not taking anyone through a purchase conversion. We're simply taking them through a lead conversion. So if I was running an ad, if I was just over here on Facebook and I'm, and I'm running an ad on real estate, and let's say we're going after listings, right? We're going after listings or we can go after buyers, whatever. Right. And, and our whole objective, our whole objective is to not just get people to see the ad. It's not to get people just to click. Our whole objective is to get them to fill out the form. We need a lead. That's conversion. So let's say this is a real estate ad. I click. I come straight to the page, right? I come straight to the page. I click the button. I enter my name and email. I click the button again. I then land on the second page. Mm -hmm. the second page, this link is the custom conversion. So when I go run an ad, I'm telling Facebook, hey, I am specifically looking for conversions. I am specifically looking for people to land on this link. This is my custom conversion. I'm only willing to pay you, Facebook, if you can get me people to this page. And the only way oh. to this page is if they fill out the damn form. You can't Google this page. You can't go and search this page. You need Got to it. The form. Super specific. So if I'm looking for seller leads, I'm giving away like this page with a simple seller guide um, page, huh? educating people on what it takes to sell. We're giving them seven, seven steps to raise the value of your home, right? We're just enticing people. We're bribing people with a free download. And this is a seller guide. This is a simple page that I built for Alyssa. There's, there's a simple bio, bio, uh, bio to the left, her image, one, some reviews, a single button. It's a, it's a landing page. It's designed to capture leads and leads only. So again, I see the ad, I click, I come straight to the page, I enter my name and email, I then land on the second page, that's when you capture the lead. So Got it. This link is the custom conversion. Our objective is to get people to land here and here only. That means that I'm capturing a lead. So, so you would get a notification, well, once you set up software and different mm -hmm. web pages, Shannon, a new lead came in. You would get a notification the moment someone lands here, the moment someone lands here, Facebook would all would, would track it for sure. And this is how you know your cost per lead. This is how this is how you know how many leads came in because Facebook knows that this is the lead page. Anyone who lands here would have been a lead. And so as we start to spend money, we start to know our cost per lead because Facebook's going to know how many people landed here. You can only Got land it. here if you opted in. Okay. Right. So, so yeah. custom conversion that that's, that's what most don't do. Most, most don't even choose that objective. They just want 10,000 views on their, how on their, on their listing video and, and, and no leads came in. Nice. Right? So, okay. So, so yeah, so those are our, our top seven and um, that's the whole full blown setup. So as we move forward, we'll just simply start filling in the blanks and um, okay. our next, our next call, we'll really figure out what's going on with that ad account. Cause we, we definitely need to add a payment info. Right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll dive into that on our next call for sure. Okay. Sounds okay. perfect. Okay, Shannon. So I'll send you this video here. And then, and then what are we, are we chatting? What are we chatting tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Cool. Yeah. And then we'll go. Cause you that. said you didn't have time tomorrow, right? Yes. Tomorrow. So tomorrow, I, let's see. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Uh huh. Yeah. I have you down for, I have you down for, for nine. Yeah. On perfect. Yep. Yeah. We'll go there. Okay. Perfect. All right, Shannon. Thanks. Talk to okay. you. Okay. Thanks. Bye.